Hey guys, this is Rich with PicoPros.com. I'm back with the Acer C205 portable projector. What we're going to do in this video is quickly show you how easy it is to connect this projector to a laptop. Uh, and then uh, we'll do a little bit of a performance on the display or the actual projected images. See how bright it gets, uh, that type of thing. Um, so basically, uh, this is the setup I have. Uh, I just have my projector mounted here on this uh, makeshift uh, shelf, and, uh, and the projector is, is currently on. Um, and I just did that by clicking the power button here. Um, I just so happen to have it on at the moment. Um, what I'm going to do here is, because this thing is a little low on battery life, I'm just going to connect it to power, just like that, and that's connected to the wall. Um, you don't need to connect it to power. Um, if you want to connect it to power to get the full 200 lumens out of this projector, uh, you can certainly do that. You don't need to connect it to power, but you will only get the uh, 150 lumens. Um, so I'm connecting it to power mainly because the battery is low. Um, and I'm eager to start using this projector. The next thing you got to do is uh, there's the HDMI port here. So I have that connected to the projector, and uh, and that's really it. The next step that we'll do is connect it to the laptop. All right, so we're over at the laptop now, just connected to the Acer C205 to this uh, laptop. Uh, I'm on a MacBook Pro with the Retina display. If you have an HDMI port on a laptop, it just works any other way. Um, essentially, look for your HDMI port, and I already have the projector connected, so I basically just go ahead and connect that. Now, you'll see the flash on the laptop screen just at the top there. Um, it detected the um, projector, and it's going to mirror uh, my laptop. And uh, so then now what we'll do is uh, show you what the image looks like. Okay, so here we have the laptop connected to the Acer C205. Um, this is their ultra portable projector. Uh, if you're familiar with the Acer C120, this is uh, very, very similar to it, although it does offer a little bit more capabilities in terms of connectivity. Um, so we have our laptop over on the right-hand side. We have our projected image in the background there, uh, which is projecting about a 40-inch image, and it's about the projector itself is about 40 inches from the wall that it's projecting onto. So we're getting a, a really nice th throw ratio. You don't have to be in a very large room to get a big image. Uh, the room that I'm in is not very large. It's just uh, the office that we have right now. Um, so it's nice to be able to get this large image from such a short distance away. Um, the image itself, very bright. Uh, hopefully you can tell from the, the video that you know, it's, it is very capable of uh, duplicating uh, your laptop screen. You can use this to extend your laptop screen, so you can have uh, two, two screens, a dual screen uh, setup, um, which is pretty nice. Um, and it's definitely, work, it's definitely usable in terms of being something that's a laptop companion. Um, so hopefully you guys get a very good idea of what this image looks like. Uh, let me turn the image down, I mean lights off, uh, and uh, give you a little bit of a better view. It's a, this is a actually a really, really nice projector. Uh, I think, I mean, this is a very portable. Um, the color in the projector is good. The whites are white. Uh, my background is a little gray, um, but, uh, you know, it, look, it looks good. Um, the projector is simple. There's really not much to it. We just connected it, connected it to the laptop, and it's working. Um, automatically detected, and uh, that's about it. So, uh, just to just to note, this is connected to power again. So we're getting the 200 lumens um, as opposed to eco mode. Now, what I could do is switch over to the eco mode real quick, just to show you what it looks like. If there's a difference. So let me do that. Okay, so I don't 
don't know if you can tell from the video or not, but I just used the menu options on the projector to switch over to eco mode. There's three brightness modes. There's a bright mode, a standard mode, and an eco mode. I don't know the actual power that is used or the brightness that you get from each one of those modes. All I do know is that the uh, eco mode they advertise at 150 lumens and the max is 200 lumens. Um, at 150 lumens in eco mode, you're going to get some battery savings. There's the internal battery, so you'll get a little bit of a longer playtime. They say it'll last about two hours, um, so that's not too bad. Um, again, I have this thing connected to power. With, with the eco mode, uh, it is a little bit dimmer. It, it looks really, really good in the bright mode. Eco mode, it's usable. It's just when you go from the bright mode to the eco mode, it's definitely a difference. Uh, and I definitely prefer that brighter mode. So uh, for now, that's about it. Just wanted to show you how to connect this thing to a laptop, see how easy it is. And, uh, and what we'll do is uh, check out our other videos. Uh, you, you can see how to connect this thing to the laptop and play a game uh, and uh, other videos. Uh, so thanks for watching. Again, this was Rich with Pico Pros, and uh, see you next time.